select a new competition project from the file menu on the menu bar. In the pop-up block, select the Time Competition Project. Fill in 20 seconds for the autonomous time and 120 for operator control time. Click OK. The following section assumes that you have the right drive 269 motor in motor port 2, the left drive 269 motor in motor port 3, the roller claw 269 motor plugged into motor port 5, and the arm 269 motor plugged into motor port 6. A 269 integrated encoder module on the right drive motor and this is plugged into the I2C port on the Cortex microcontroller and a 269 IME on the arm motor and plugged into the right motor IME. From the main program tab, double click the config block. Below the integrated motor encoders, click on the motor port cell beside I2C number 1 and select motor port 2. Type in right drive motor under the description. Click on the next cell down and select motor port 6 under description type in arm motor in the motors block below motor type beside the motor type cell 2 click the cell and change to small i m e for description type right drive motor Click the next cell down beside motor type 3 and change that to standard. For this description, type in left drive motor. Beside motor type 5, click and change that to standard. For description, this would be the claw motor. And beside motor port 6, click and change that to small IME. And for a description, type in arm. This completes the setup for the configuration to use the IMEs. I'm going to test the IME for distance in autonomous. Now that the controller configuration is completed, click OK. Click on the autonomous tab. Now under the function blocks, click on the plus beside smart tasks and click on the plus beside robot driving. Click and drag to define motors over to the line between variables and end. Make sure the select gear is two motors and change the master module to right. Then the left motor should be changed to the correct drive and the right motor should be collect changed to the correct drive. Click OK. Drag the Smart Motor Drive block under the block which we have just done. Make sure the motion movement criteria is set to degrees. Set your power to 40 for low power and 
change your degrees to 360 for one complete rotation. Click OK. Now build and download your program and test out how far one complete rotation of the drivetrain will bring you in distance. Now that we know that the robot travels 16 inches for one complete revolution, we no ne longer need the 360 drive block, so right click on it and delete. And yes, we do want to delete this block. We want to create an autonomous program that's going to have the gateway protobot back up to the low goal from the edge of the starting block, lift the arm, and then eject the game piece. The first step is to determine how far the protobot needs to back up. Set the protobot at the edge of the starting block, lay a measuring device, such as a yardstick, and use it to measure from a reference point to the distance you want your protobot to travel. To do this, position the protobot at the goal and measure the distance we want it to travel. From our testing, we know that 360 degrees brings the protobot around 16 inches or one inch equals 22.5 degrees. Let's document this in our program. Click on the plus sign beside program flow. Click and drag a comment block under the define robot motors. In the comment block, enter 360 degrees equals 16 inches. Click OK. Now let's comment what action we want. Pull over another comment block and enter move backwards fourteen point five inches or 326 degrees. Click OK. Note the calculation could be done with variables and an assignment in the program, but to keep the program simple, the calculation was done outside of the program. To make the robot move backwards, drag the smart motor drive block we used earlier over to the program line. Make sure the movement criteria is set to degrees. Set the power to negative 40 because we want the robot to move backwards and set the degrees to 326 degrees. Put in as a comment backwards 326 degrees. Click OK. Let's comment what we want our next action to be. Drag another comment block onto the program line. The arm has a 5 to 1 gear ratio, so to travel 180 degrees, the motor needs to rotate 2.5 times. To lift the game piece, 2.25 will work. And 
enter lift game piece to goal 2.25 rotations equals 810 degrees. Click OK. <clears throat> we can also determine how much to turn the gear by placing a gear on with a colored tooth on the drive shaft and count how many times it takes to turn the gear in order to have the arm position in the desired spot. Select the smart motor control from the function block. Click and drag it next on the program line. Make sure the movement criteria is set to degrees. Set your power to 80, which will be medium power, and enter 810 degrees. For a comment, enter 5 to 1 gear ratio. Click OK. We only have one more action to complete, so let's comment that action. Enter reverse. Roller claw. To eject game piece. Click OK. Click the plus sign beside outputs in the function block. Drag a motor module next on the program line. Enter motor number 5 and comment ejects game piece. Click OK. This completes your autonomous program. Notice it only took four active function blocks to complete this autonomous behavior. The only thing left is to build and download your program and test it on the field. Be sure to place your VexNet wireless adapter back into the Cortex microcontroller before you test your robot and start your robot's behavior by touching any button on the Cortex joystick. This completes our video on how to use smart tasks to program your gateway protobot in autonomous.